Hey, what's up? It's Jeff. Uh, this is Skate 2. Um, I'm playing the career mode here for probably about, I don't know, five, six hours, something like that. Here's one of the new things about Skate 2. Uh, see this, this little area here? This fountain is filled with water. So we're going to go to the services menu, call up Sammy. She's going to come drain this. Hey, what's up? Yep. 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 So now we can actually just skate around in here. Uh, there's another service for removing skate stops off of rails. There's a lot of, there's a lot of those. So, uh, you have to call in and, and have them, you know, removed. And it's kind of cool. Uh, so it kind of, you know, modifies the area a little bit. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, the big changes are probably with the trick system. It's not a huge change at first because, you know, a lot of it's the same, you know. Down up on the right stick to ollie, down to the right to do a kick flip, you know, heel flip, that sort of stuff. They didn't really add new tricks to the right stick, but it's a lot of modifiers that, uh, that weren't there before that let you change up those tricks. So I can do like a, a little... So while I'm, while I'm grinding, I can actually grab while I'm grinding. Uh, while I'm in the air, I can do a little one foots by hitting the, the kick buttons. I can take my back foot or my front foot off for, for different tricks there, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, Let's see. I can also do hand plants. Let's see if I can get up here high enough to do one. Oh, nope. Let me find a slightly lower uh, lip or get up some more speed. Let's see what's going on over here. What's going on over there is me stacking it up. Shake it off, shake it off getting all bruised up on my arms there. Uh, every time you bail when you're not in a challenge, it, uh, it comes up and scores you. Uh, so it actually gives you... Uh, let's see if I can... Oh, yeah, nope. <laughs> I actually want to save that, so it's a good time to use the replay editor. Um, okay, edit timeline. We want that to be our out, I think. Uh, and we want our in to be way over here. So that's probably, eh, you know, that's enough setup to let you see what's going on. So let's, uh, yeah. Uh, how about tripod camera? I would be interested in seeing how this looked from a different angle. So, or actually, yeah, commit and then how do I play? Playback, play pause. I can. Uh, R one. Nice. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. All right, so what other, so we can place markers, um, kind of scrub back and forth, set your in and out points, and, you know, same as before, except uh, you kind of have more control over camera stuff. Um, and we can save that. Uh, I'm not actually online right now, but you can upload those like you can in the first game, and, and they go up on the EA site kind of as flash videos that you can then embed around and do a bunch of weird stuff with, um, which is cool. So uh, let's go to the challenge map and see what we've got here. So career is where kind of the main progression is stuff. Uh, you know, we're like impressing the pros to get sponsored. I just got my board sponsor. Uh, and then, of course, getting pictures and stuff in magazines, ramp to foot plant to ramp, you know. I'd try that, but I'm, I'm still horrible at foot plants, and we would just be sitting here for an hour and me, you know. I'm going to show you some of the, see if I get actually get frustrated doing this. Uh, but <clears throat> it's effectively been the last few days here, uh, both me in the office and, and at home, swearing a lot. Uh, this game gets really frustrating, just like the first one did. Uh, there's just some stuff that's that's really hard. Um, and and the, the act of retrying stuff is not as smooth as it should be, which then just 
makes it even more frustrating. Hey, I'm trying to shoot something with Chris right now, but uh, feel free to jump in. So I'm pretty sure foot plants, you do a, it's, it's just like, I mean, it's just like doing a, a bean plant. I think you just grab the board and, let's see, that's, <laughs> that is not what to do. Okay, so this is a good one because when you bail, it actually just resets you uh, and, and that's good. You know, it gives you a good marker. It's just real easy to, oh, so I'm, I'm, I am going to have to ollie off that a little bit, but I don't want to be going too fast, otherwise... I won't hit the mark I need to hit for the foot plant. And also, I don't think I actually know how to do foot plants. Let's see if the trick guide actually says. It's one of the things that... That's, I, th I think that's kind of the last thing. Uh, foot plants. Okay, R2. So yeah, you just grab the board and hit... Hold on to the one foot as you land. Okay, so if you just land in a... All right, see, that, that actually sounds way easier. So it's just a grab button and a, a leg button. Hold the judo while landing. But don't try going to... Okay. Oh, you know, it, yeah, they imply that you need to be going kind of slow. Maybe that's... Maybe that's been my, my problem all along. That's way easy. The hell's my problem? Who would have thought? Reading the manual, right? There you go, back to the camera. That's how I like it, mysterious skater. It always seems to be how it works out for me, is, is all these photos and all the stuff, I end up with my back to the camera. I don't really know why Dude, this game just doesn't want to doesn't want to show my skater's face. So when you get footage in magazines or get, you know, get pictures up in magazines and stuff like that, it, uh, it ends up showing up in Slappy's blog where he shows these pictures that you've, you've taken all along the way and you, you can kind of filter by, you know, showing the stuff that you did for Thrasher, the stuff you did for the Skateboard Magazine, and then also, uh, you know, your, your Hall of Meat stuff for, you know, how much you've bailed. I have bailed 408 times, which actually sounds low uh, for what I've done so far. Um, here are my active Hall of Meat goals. 5,000 points at, uh, at GED High. It's a specific location, so... 25 miles per hour and a hand gesture. That doesn't seem too hard. Break a leg on an object. That seems reasonable. So these are only active one at a time. Uh, and then you kind of, as you complete these, you unlock the next one. And uh, and that's, you know, just a, kind of another another set of, of things to progress through in the game. There's a lot of different stuff like that. Um, show off some of the new, here's a... No foot hand plant there, and while you're doing a hand plant, you can also use the right stick to, to tweak it out if you want. Or I can do that, which is cool too. Oh my god! I know, right? Um, <clears throat> so yeah, let's go somewhere else and do something else. You got contests. You got, uh, you know, I can go do stuff with Rob Deerdeck from that MTV show that I hate so much. Uh, I could go do some stuff in, in a hot area uh, full of security guards. Um, but let's stick to the career stuff because I'm actually trying to progress through a lot of the, the career stuff here. Make the gap from lot to lot. Mega road gap will be sick if you pull it off, but it's also a bit dangerous. Find a way to gap from upper to lower. Since it says find a way, that implies that I might have to actually get off the board and move some objects around. Um, when you're off your board, you can pick up ramps and drag them around and do different stuff to kind of set up, you know, if you want a, a ramp to rail thing, you can grab a rail, grab a ramp, do it. Um, you can't just you can't just add objects to the world, uh, which oh, up, seems like a, a little weird that that's not there, but, you know, there's plenty of stuff around the world to drag around that you don't really need it. Um, <clears throat> you can, however, buy add-ons to certain areas like those. Uh, so actually, to listen from. to this for a second. How about this one? Oh, dude, there's a sizable gap. Uh, is there anything around here that I can pick up and move over there? No? Let's just give it a go here, I guess. Go back to the mark. Lady, get out of my damn way! Well, that's one way to do it. Uh, so I guess I just want to pick up speed and then, and then not bail, basically can do. The 
why am I not landing it? Oh, God! My legs! So this is pretty much how this game has been going. Uh, you know, if you play the first one, I think you, you probably did a lot of this yourself. Of just like, nope, nope, nope. Doing the same thing over and over again until you get it just right. And these are just stupid mistakes I'm making. This is just embarrassing. See, that's not even what I want to do. That's not, I don't, I don't want to do any grind. There's no need to do any grinding here. I'm just trying to gap from one lot to the next. Like that only not bail because I think I'm I think I've forgotten some key piece of how to land those big drops like maybe is it like a hold the left stick forward anyway <sighs> like I said uh been a lot of me cursing around here these past few days. Um, so we'll jump out of that challenge. Oh, speaking of jumping, that's that's a new thing there. A little, little hippie jump. Little hippie jump. Show off all some of that. And I can actually use that to go switch. Uh, if I want here, like that. So here's something else I can, you know. Oh, God. Take a That's how it was me getting off the board, but him deciding instead I'll just fall over. I can grab this and I wonder if there's a limit to how far you can drag something. I should actually just try taking this bench all the way across the city. But not right now. That would probably be kind of a boring video. Dude drags bench. Let's check out my hot new videos on dudedragsbench.com. Uh, must be 18 or older to view. <laughs> Dude, dragspitch.com. <laughs> what am I even talking about? <laughs> Alright, Skate 2 is a video game. <laughs> we'll start. Um, <clears throat> uh, the game has film challenges, which I actually just unlocked uh, because uh, you can't really do those until you get sponsored, and I just got a board sponsor. Um, but I can basically hit contacts here and go to team film challenges. And it'll, it'll give me some goals like Grab Blaster here, which give me 30 seconds to do five different grabs. Uh, which I would do if I could benefit of getting off the board. So I can now just do that. And uh, that, I thought, looked like a tweak grab to me, but apparently not. Uh, again, I, I totally was hitting the right stick, but... So that's, you know, hope you're enjoying this video of me failing at stuff in Skate 2. Okay, there's a little nose grind, and that's, you know what, we're going to, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to get off this. Grab this and drag it over closer to this other one because then I've got a little setup here that I can very easily bust out. Five grabs. And by very easily, I mean prepare to watch me fail to do it. Okay, uh, get on board here and use the phone. Contacts, email challenges, grab Blasta. That was a heel flip, not a grab. That was not a grab at all. Oh, see, that's when you try and do a flip. That's when things go real bad on you. So I always have this, this weird desire to want to hold forward on the stick. And that uh, just, well, see, that's, that's no good. <laughs> 
Okay. So like I said, I hope you're enjoying watching me totally fail at, uh, at various challenges. Um, that's kind of the neat thing about this game, really, is that it requires you to kind of be on it. You know, you really gotta... You know, there's, there's no, like, I'm gonna pump up my skater's stats to make every single challenge really easy. It really is all just about, can you do it? And I think, uh, you know, at least it was, it was like this with me, with the original skate. It was like, you know, some days I had good skate days and some days I had bad skate days, which makes me feel like a real skater. This is the PlayStation 3 version, by the way. That's probably worth saying. Um, uh, the developers made a pretty big deal about the, play the, the PlayStation 3 version in terms of its frame rate being up there with the 360 version. I haven't really played the 360 version much, so I can't really compare. Um, but the frame rate in this is playable. I mean, you, you know, you're watching it right now. You're seeing it's definitely getting... It's dropping kind of as I'm getting faster and as I'm doing these turns in this pool. It's, it's really not totally stable. Uh, but it, it's, it hasn't been a problem uh, in terms of just like, you know, it definitely hasn't gotten unplayably slow or anything like that. This to me is kind of the sign of a good uh, skateboarding game. It's something that, that the early Tony Hawk games had. That, uh, that Skate and Skate 2 both have is, you know, it's like the challenges are fine and good, but at the end of the day, it's just fun to find a spot and just skate. That's kind of, uh, what I, what I like most about this game is just, you know, taking the trick system and, and doing a thing, you know? But let's, uh, let's load up one last thing here and, and fail at it here before we, uh, before we go. Let's go back to career here. Okay, that's, that's that thing. Dunk slam. Hand plant on the backboard. Find a way to get up there. This sounds like something I won't be able to do uh, in the next minute or two. All right. Uh, earlier, there was a goal I was trying to do where it wanted me to do a hand plant on a catwalk that was above uh, above a ramp, and the catwalk right. was like a foot or so hey, further back, which was really crazy. At least with this, I'll be able to move the ramp, so that just seems like it'll... Oh, yeah. Get off the board. There we go. So I want to position this basically just directly under there so I can air up to the backboard. Oh, is it, is it that back? Okay, well, it's that backboard, so let's not get that wrong. Uh, just get off. Okay. I really don't like the, the running, the walking stuff in this game. Uh, just because the, it's, it's really skittish. The, the, you know, it's easier to move your character when you're holding onto an object than it is just when you're not holding anything, which... That's no good. All right, let's hop back on the board and see if we can just do this first try. Not like that, we're not gonna be able to. Obviously, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to bring this ramp over and probably pump a little bit. Yeah, to even get up that high, I'm gonna need to close the gap on this, so. Drag this over here. That should be enough room on the ground to do what I need to do. Oh god, that was not at all the thing, man. He's getting hung up on the edges of this thing, which is not... I don't even... Yeah, it's like as soon as he gets air, it's just not working. That is weirdness. That is just, that's... I don't know about some of these movable objects, man. So you're, you're witnessing the review forming in my head in, in some ways here. Um, yeah, I don't know. Overall, there's a lot of things I really like about Skate 2. Um, but there's a lot of stuff about it that, that still seems 
maybe a little janky in some spots, and also um, just, you know, really frustrating, which I think, you know, that's going to come down to different people being good at different things. Um, you know, some players are, are going to get stuck on things that other players won't, and oh, that was apparently a, a good enough bail to get in the Hall of Meat. Oh, this is just my 5,000 points at GED high, so there you go. Got 100 bucks for doing that. And that's how the Hall of Meat works on that. I think that about sums it up. Skate 2 will be in, sco in stores as of Thursday, from the sounds of things. So uh, look for that, and I'm going to keep plugging away until uh, the review's ready.